गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सिक्स सेशन ऑफ थर्ड चैप्टर दैट इज डिमांड इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डू नेक्स्ट टू प्राइज इलास्टिसिटी दैट इज इनकम इलास्टिसिटी एंड क्रॉस इलास्टिसिटी सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट दैट इज इनकम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड now what is this income elasticity of demand it is the extent of change in a demand for a good because of a change in income of the consumer see in price elasticity because of change in price what effect comes on the demand that we used to study here because of change in the income of a consumer what effect comes on the demand that we measure that is income elasticity of demand we show it with this way e y y belongs to income now formula for this income elasticity is proportionate change of demand upon proportionate change of income now what are the types or degrees of income elasticity of demand mainly there are three types number 1 positive income elasticity demand number 2 negative income elasticity demand and third is zero income elastic demand now first that is positive income elastic demand now what is that when demand increases due to a rise in income of the consumer or demand decreases due to fall in the income of a consumer then such a change in demand that is known as positive income elastic demand now this positive income elastic demand we can divide in three sub types number 1 unit income elastic demand that is where this income elasticity it is always one now what is that when change of demand and change of income of consumer are proportionately equal say 5% there is increase in income then same 5% there is increase in the demand that is known as unit income elastic demand where this income unit income elastic demand that comes one next elasticity of demand greater than unity now what is that when change in demand is proportionately greater than the change in income of the consumer then this type of income elasticity of demand that is known as greater than unity here always income elasticity that will be more than one third that is elasticity of demand less than unity when change in demand is proportionately lesser than change in the income of the consumer then this type of income elasticity of demand that is known to be lesser than unity where this income elasticity it is always less than 1 now next that is negative income elasticity now this negative income elasticity that is when the rise of the income of a consumer if demand decreases or with the fall of income of a consumer if demand increases then such elasticity of demand is known as negative income elasticity of demand normally some types of inferior goods have negative income elasticity of demand if you remember we already discussed about robert giffen who gave this concept so the, those goods are known as a giffen goods so of those goods uh negative income elastic demand we find and the last one is that is zero income elastic demand 
with the change in income of consumer if demand of the goods remain unchanged then such type of demand that is known as zero income elastic demand usually if you remember very cheap goods low priced goods like salt postcards pins match boxes match uh, sticks stapler pins these type of goods that zero income elastic demand whether income increase or decrease but demand of that remain constant no change in that that is called zero income elastic demand now come to the next that is cross price elasticity of demand now what is this cross price elasticity of demand when the demand of the concerned commodities changes in response to the change in the price of its related goods related goods means complementary or substitute goods then the extent of such change in demand that is known as cross elasticity of demand how we find this cross elasticity of demand percentage change in demand for x commodity or good upon percentage change in price of y good see this is demand is there of x commodity and price it is of y commodity then only this is called as cross price elasticity of demand that is which two types of goods related goods that is substitute goods and complementary goods do you know what is substitute goods substitute goods means those goods which can be easily used in place of a given good for satisfying a want as they are very close alternatives of a given good while complementary goods those goods which are consumed together or jointly one good cannot be consumed without the other in other words you can say that these must be consumed together to satisfy a given want so this way cross price elasticity of demand as well as income elasticity of demand now last uh, connected to this only one more where only head points are given in your textbook that is methods of measuring elasticity of demand now there are three methods number one method of proportionate change that we did like in this chapter only price elasticity number two that is total outlay method or total expenditure method and third is geometric method of course these all the three it's a um, first one we did in detail and these two are not in your syllabus that you will do later on so this way uh, this elasticity of demand that topic it is over now one in between topic it is left that we will discuss in today's session that is individual demand and market demand demand in economics that is classified in two one is individual demand another is market demand now what is individual demand that is the demand of a good by an individual consumer at a given price and at a particular point of time that is called individual demand you can say that a demand of one person only at a different price for particular time period that is called individual demand and market demand is what the sum or total of such individual demand of all existing consumers in the market that is called market demand again at a given price and at a particular point of time now here i have shown this with the help of this schedule and diagram you can see price of commodity 
different prices 108642 and demand by one individual person that is A. It is given at price 10, 1 rupee according to law of demand, price decrease, demand increases from 1 to 2, price still decreases from 8 to 6, demand increases from 2 to 3 and so on. Same way, it is given another individual person or consumer that is B at same price what demand it is there that I have written and here we assume that in the market there are only two consumers A and B. So market demand will be what? The total demand which is uh, by A and B at different prices that market demand. So here 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 3, 5, 3 plus 4, 7 this way it is there. Now in the form of curve. See first that is demand curve of person A. Here you can see here at price 10 where the demand is 1 unit. So I have written here point A 8, 2, 6, 3, 4 and 4 and 2 and 5. This way this is demand curve of person A. Next, that is demand curve of person B, which is from with 10, 2 units, with 8 rupees, 3 units and so on. So, this is the demand curve of person B. And finally, market demand curve, where the total of A as well as B, like when the price is 10, that time total demand curve that is market demand curve that is 3 units same way when 8 is the price then 5 and so on so this is your market demand curve see demand curve it is the same only those two were of individual and here it is market demand curve from examination point of view these individual demand curve or market demand curve that's not that much important. Huh? Only one line answer. These definitions are important of individual demand curve as well as market demand curve. So this is an end of this session and even this chapter also. Uh, see you in next session with the fourth chapter that is supply. So by the time take care. Thank you.